Wow, it has been a long time since I've woken up in the morning, seen some kind of news that would affect handmade businesses or makers or, or anything like that, and then thought, I've got to make a video about this right now. But today, something exciting has happened. Okay, so you all know how I think it's really important to build a community around your business and how I think YouTube is amazing for that. If you have a small channel or you've been thinking about starting a channel, <laughs> listen to this. You only need 500 subscribers. That's all you need. They've completely halved it. Oh, bring it down a notch, Kim. You only need 3,000 hours of watch time over the last 365 days or a year now, as opposed to the 4,000. It's different if you do shorts. I think it's, let me check my notes because I can't remember a damn thing on my own. 3 million views over 90 days. I still think it's easier to stick to long form content myself, but that's by the by. And the other criteria is that you need to have uploaded um, three public uploads over the course of 90 days. That's easy. So yes, 500 subscribers, three public uploads, and 3,000 hours of watch time over a year. That is huge. Now there is a caveat to this, because isn't there always? This isn't to get ad revenue. However, this is what you can do. Anyone who hits the criteria that I just mentioned, they can do lives, which means that you can do super chats, which is a way of people tipping you during the live. Um, you can have super thanks on your videos and I believe I have that. It's a bit like a tip jar so that people can tip you while you're making a video. You can create memberships on your channel so you can create a community and add um, extra uh, content. It's like Patreon but YouTube. And this is the exciting one. This is the main one that I was like, ha! You can promote your own products on your channel like merch and obviously in my case, my own products. Because like you see underneath, you will see the, my, my products on this channel. This is why I'm excited. I was never supposed to promote my hand embroidery and my project bags and stuff on this channel. It was supposed to be on my other channel, which is specifically made for that purpose. However, I'm not yet monetized there. And I didn't want to be because I didn't want the pressure of an, like ad revenue and all of that to take away from the creativity that is what I created that channel for but I did want to link the shop to it. And now that YouTube have come and just completely lowered the barrier to entry, I can do that and I still don't have to worry about ads and the ad revenue and all of the things. I think this is really, really exciting. And another reason why this made me so excited today is because last week I got another email from another small business that I have been supporting over the years that has shut their doors permanently. It's hard at the moment to be a small business owner, to be a, a handmade business or a maker of any kind. So things like this that could help us make an income from our work, you bet your bum I'm excited. <laughs> I mean I'm not trying to force you into YouTube if YouTube isn't your thing, but if YouTube is your thing, this is exciting. <laughs> I mean I think so anyway. <laughs> if that wasn't obvious from this video. But I would love to hear from you if you've been on the fence about starting a YouTube channel. Has this changed anything for you? Would you be more inclined to, to try given that they've sort of lowered the barrier to entry as it were? And if you want to know more, this morning I put together this playlist for you and it's a small collection of my previous videos around YouTube and why I think it's so good for building a handmade online business. Go check it out.